Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 28th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Scorpio, and we are going to see what is going on for you. I'm just going to do a Celtic cross for you this week, and um, there won't be a part two either. I'm just going to clarify in this reading. I have a little bit of a time crunch as always, but so that's why we're going to do this. But uh, let's see here. This is the Prisma Visions Tarot, by the way, if you're wondering um, what deck this is here, Scorpio. Um, you, uh, I feel like you have big dreams. <laughs> you have the uh, star here. You also have the world. I have not yet seen the world in this deck, which is pretty crazy. But uh, you have the world here as well. And you have the chariot, like a major time of accomplishment. Or you could be thinking a lot about accomplishments with the star card. Something's giving you hope here. It's like, I feel like you're being inspired to take action. Your outcome is a six of pentacles. Six of pentacles, like planting seeds. It's working towards something. Um, you know, so sometimes I feel like the Six of Pentacles can just be a time investment where we start to invest in something that we've been dreaming of with the star card. Like, you know, maybe you want to start a business. It's like the Six of Pentacles is like the setup process or kind of planting seeds to see what works. Uh, same thing in relationships as well. It's like maybe you're dating. It's like you're giving people energy, seeing who wants to date. Um, maybe you're already with a person. It's like you're kind of trying to grow something here with this reading. So it feels really good. Uh, in the area of uh, your crossing energy, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Mm, I feel like focus is the challenge here. The Nine of Pentacles can represent your focus. Normally, on the Nine of Pentacles, she has a like a falcon on her hand, and she has a glove on her hand as well. Kind of represents the fact that you know focus is something we have to practice. It's something we have to work on. I feel if there's something you want to accomplish, I would just focus on it, plain and simple, <laughs> and I feel like you'll be successful. The other challenge with the Nine of Pentacles as a crossing energy is your environment. If you're in an environment that does not allow you to be successful, then that is going to be a problem, right? I've been talking a lot about this because the Nine of Pentacles has been coming up like crazy this year for pretty much everyone, and I've been encouraging everyone to look at their environment. You know, just to give you some examples, here in my office, I literally come here, I push a button right over here, everything turns on, I'm ready to go, right? I'm setting myself up for an environment of success because there's like a lot of stuff in here that has to turn on, right? It's like if I had to go through and turn every single little thing on, uh, you know, you know, it would take me forever. It would not be a good environment for me, right? Because uh, then I wouldn't want to do it. So by having like one button, something that sounds silly, but it's like one thing makes me like a hundred times more productive because I don't have to think about like 900 things that I have to do, right? A couple of weeks ago, I had a bunch of boxes in there because I had to set all this up in the first place, right? And I just had a bunch of boxes in my other room and it was driving me nuts, right? Not a good environment to work in. So I got rid of the boxes, fix the environment, right? And I feel like the nine of pentacles is saying, What's driving you crazy? What is stealing your energy? What is preventing you from being successful? I feel like you have to kind of uh, look at those things with the uh, Nine of Pentacles for sure. Uh, in the area of your thoughts, you have the world. I, I love this because this to me would represent extremely expansive thinking. It would say that you're really thinking about uh, everything. This is a beautiful card. Look at that. <laughs> I love that, Scorpio. But you know, I feel that a lot of you need like are very, very expansive in your thinking. I think you're thinking about a lot, but and I think this is a good thing as well with this card because again, you're kind of like ready to make a change. You have a lot of change cards here. Uh, again, Chariot, you have the Six of Cups here as well. Um, and so, and you have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, not really a change, but it is kind of like a card of going on a new adventure. And you have the Temperance card, which is a card of uh, transformation. So you're clearly ready for like a rebirth with the World card. The rebirth that we have with the World card is that we've accomplished something, we start over as a fool. So it's like you're just starting over with that card. Uh, again, in your foundation, you have the temperance card. It's like you're going, I feel in the area of the foundation, this is just saying you are experiencing a transformation. You're already going through the transformation. So there probably isn't a lot to talk about there because <laughs> you're, you're already going through the transformation, which uh, I would say is a good thing, of course, here, Scorpio, but I feel like you're making changes that you need to make. And, and look at this, um, you know, pretty straightforward. Temperance, Chariot, Nine of Wands. It's like you are you are clearly charging towards success. In the past, you have the Seven of Cups, Confusion. The good news is I feel like you're, it's like you see what you need to accomplish with that world card. I feel like in the past, you maybe were confused about what to do or what direction to take your life in. So it's like you're much more focused. I feel like you finally understand like what direction to take your life in with that card. In the near future, you have the chariot. 
So definitely a victory coming in for you or a win. I feel there is a lot of success coming in for you in the near future. The Chariot is a card of kind of leaving things behind as well. And again, you have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a card of going on an adventure. So it looks like to me, a lot of you could be kind of moving, traveling, or you could just be leaving something behind. You could be like quitting a job, going to another one. There's some sort of transformation happening here. I would say it's a pretty big transformation based off of the Temperance card. Um, you know, based off of everything in the world as well. The world, again, I, th I think the thing I want to stress here is the fact that the world in the area of your thoughts is really expansive thinking. It's like, you're not just making some tiny, tiny little change here. You know, you're like thinking about making a major change. I do also feel that this could be a cancer coming in for you. If you're looking for love, it could be just someone who has cancer in their uh, chart as well. Uh, over the next few months, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords could be lying, cheating, stealing. But as I always say, the Seven of Swords is really a card of tactics. It does not have to represent lying, cheating, stealing. Seven of Swords, it's like, you know, I hate to burst everybody's bubble because I know everyone reads the Seven of Swords as a bad card, but traditionally it was actually a good card. It was normally a yellow card, you know, in a traditional deck it's yellow, which is positive in the tarot. And it's really a card of tactics or doing things tactically, like not just you know, normally he's stealing the swords from the army in the background of the Seven of Swords. It's like he's not going to war. He's facing his problems in a different way. He's not like fighting with the army. He's stealing the swords so they can't be used against him. So it does say, yeah, if you're having any conflicts or problems over the next few months, look for other ways to solve the problem because there's probably a better way or easier way. But it can also just represent anything. It's like saying, if you're trying to be successful, it's like maybe there are different ways to do things in business that are more tactical, that could be more, um, you know, more beneficial for you. It can also represent focusing on the tactics. It's like sometimes in business or work or in love, we should be focusing on the planning side of things and not so much the, you know, action side of things. And that's what I feel like that's kind of saying. Uh, in the area of your closest relationships, you have these six of cups, really nice, um, I do feel like some of you could be visiting with someone from your past, and this does not have to be a lover, by the way. I feel it could just be a person, a friend. It's like you're revisiting someone from the past. I definitely get that feeling here with this card as well, where it's like you could be re revisiting your past. You could just be like traveling back to your hometown. All those things are popping into my head. Um, you know, Six of Cups can just be a reunion, and that's what I get here uh, with the Six of Cups. In the area of your future feelings, you have the Knight of Wands. Uh, the Knight of Wands is a really good card for your future feelings. It's a card of adventure, or going on adventure, but really the Knight of Wands is kind of like a card of being spontaneous. And I really feel it's saying you're you're much more open at this time. I really, I know it sounds kind of late, but like what I get from your reading in general is that you're much more open at this time. Why is this a good thing? Because well, when we're o more open, we are more open to more possibilities and opportunities our life becomes more abundant. And that's really how I see your reading. He's willing to be spontaneous. He's not like super focused in on only allowing things to happen for him in one way in his life. So it's like when we're more open, when we're more open to spontaneous opportunity, we can make more money, we can find love, pretty much everything. Cause we're just like, if something comes our way, we grab onto it with the Knight of Wands, especially in the area of future feelings. It's like, we see an opportunity, we jump on it. And uh, with your outcome, you have the Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles is a card of, you know, success, abundance. It's a card of growth as well. So I feel like you are kind of like growing <laughs> at this time. Like I said, very expansive thinking in this reading. So uh, we're just going to clarify through here, Scorpio. And we're going to see what is going on here. With the star and the nine of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Wands again. So I feel definitely you're like very focused on adventure or going on adventures. It definitely would be a good time to go on adventures, like traveling, you have the chariot or moving, but it could also be a mental adventure as well. You could be like learning about something new, anything expansive with the world. Uh, with the world, you have the Page of Wands. There you go. See, you know, this is the thing. You have the star and now you have the page of wands with the world. The star is inspiration and it can represent being inspired to do something. Uh, the With the page of wands is normally very inspired to do something. So it's kind of like you are feeling inspired to maybe make a change or to go through this transformation that you're going through uh, at this time. With the temperance card, you have the chariot. <laughs> so uh, definitely a victory coming in for you uh, and success as well. So I feel like there is success coming in for you. The chariot 
is kind of like as above, so below. I do feel that the temperance card can represent changing your energy. He he is moving forward in his life because, you know, he has the stars in his canopy on a traditional chariot. He's got the moons on his shoulders. It kind of represents as above, so below. It's like his energy matches what he is moving towards, which has come up for quite a few people over the past few weeks, like that our energy really needs to match with what we are moving towards. And I feel like that's happening for you. With the chariot, you have the uh, tower. Definitely could be a move. And, you know, again, this is a good reading. I always tell people, like, you know, people always freak out when the tower comes up. Number one, the tower has to fall in the first place. We experience many tower moments in our life, and it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. The reason the tower is falling is because those people inside the tower are ignoring reality. Their reality has become too boring. And so, the you know, the tower has to fall. But with the chariot, it could just be a move that you're experiencing. With the Seven of Swords, you have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is like walking away from things that no longer serve you. I definitely feel you could be cutting out the crap with the Seven of Swords in general. Eight of Cups in this is also like investing in the right things. You know, normally the guy is choosing to walk away from the Eight Cups. He understands that something no longer serves him. He understands that something is no longer fulfilling to him in his life. And he knows that he has to move towards something else. He knows he has to make a change or uh, do something different. So I feel like you're just kind of, you know, I really don't feel anything here. <laughs> I, I just feel like you're walking away from things that no longer serve you in general. Uh, with the Six of Cups, you have two cards. You have the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. That's amazing. Um, if you're looking for love, this could definitely be love entering into your life. With the Six of Cups, I would say that it could be someone from your past, but uh, again, intuitively, I don't really feel like this is an ex necessarily. I feel it could just be a person that you knew from the past, uh, or maybe you're like moving somewhere and you're meeting a person there. Four of Wands is marriage. Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing. Again, this would be really good if you're having a, a reunion or you know, I get this like vibe of like moving back home. Some of you might be moving back to your hometown or something. If you're doing that, I feel like there'd be a lot of happiness there for you. Um, for others, this is committing to something, but you you know it's not like you have to commit to love with this energy and the Six of Cups. You are probably just committing to something that you tried in the past. Like if you, with the Six of Cups, Six of Cups is a gift from the universe. It says if you like tried something in the past and it didn't work out, Six of Cups comes into a reading and it kind of says try again because it can represent the removal of obstacles. This would be you committing uh, to something again and being successful with the Ace of Cups. So love it. With the Knight of Wands, you have the King of Cups. Uh, this could be you showing up here. Uh, King of Cups also says watch your emotions. Uh, it does say pay attention to your emotions. But he's actually in a very kind of like the waters that the King of Cups is normally sitting in. Normally, they're very choppy waters. And he is perfectly fine in those choppy waters. He really doesn't care what's going on around him. <laughs> so uh, what I would say here is I feel like you are kind of in control of your emotions. I do also feel like that could be love that is coming in for you. Uh, and with your outcome with the Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, literally, what did I say at the beginning of the reading? That you are very focused on expansion. Three of Wands is the card of expansion. It's a card of growth and expansion. Normally, there's a guy standing at the top of the Three of Wands there with the Three of Wands, and he's looking out onto the ocean. There are three boats in the water. He is looking at those boats, and it's like he's wanting to go on the adventure. I literally feel this reading is saying, go on the adventure. Pretty simple. Expand. Don't be afraid to expand. Uh, make sure you're doing things that cause expansion as well. This could be, you know, asking for a raise or a promotion at work, could be moving or traveling, getting a new job, you know, anything that you could possibly think of that would lead to expansion. Uh, that's what this reading is kind of like saying to me. I want to see what this card is right here. Here you go. You have this uh, potential card. <laughs> so uh, this card, there's a big mountain on it. It's like clear, clearly, I do feel you're going to have to go on the adventure, like I said, with the Knight of Wands twice. But, you know, where do you get the best views, Scorpio? You get them at the top of a mountain. So I feel for a lot of you, there's like an opportunity for, you know, major expansion uh, coming in for you. And, you know, I feel it could be on, you know, taking some sort of adventure, whether that be moving or, you know, it doesn't have to be moving. You could be changing jobs. Uh, you could also just be starting something new. That can be an adventure, starting a new business, um, you know, uh, starting a new relationship. Those are all adventures. But whatever it is that you're starting, it's going to lead to a lot of expansion, which is obvious to me, like I already said. So uh, love this reading for you. Looks really good. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.